ready to go. Um, so tonight, product review, Vision Spinner. Got a new vape. Um, last product review I did for vape was the PAX era. Uh, I don't know if I have it within reach, but it was uh, looked like a little USB thumb drive. I was actually fairly impressed with how well it hit. Um, the flavor of the for their proprietary cartridges and stuff, the ease of use, the app, uh, pretty pretty good vape pen. Uh, downsides to the PAX era, uh, the proprietary cartridges. It's kind of a double-edged sword because uh, they're more expensive and they only come in half grams, and the selection is limited. I mean, everything that I've tried from them is good, but these suckers use the generic generic cartridges you can get in full grams that are about the same price as the half grams from the packs sometimes even less um, depending on what you're getting so this one is the vision spinner this battery it's a vision spinner two it's a kind of a knockoff chinese brand uh cost me like 25 bucks free shipping Took a couple weeks, two, three weeks to get here, though. But it's got some settings on the bottom. 3.3 uh, volts, 3.8, 4.3, Right now, I've got it on 3.8. And uh, USB charged. Took me a while to figure out how to charge this fucker. My... My buddy had to hook me up with one of these. He's the guy that turned me on to it. They don't come with the charger. So if you pick up a vision spinner, it is imperative that you also get a charger. So maybe a little bit more than 25 bucks, maybe like 35 bucks if you get the charger too, which you'll need. So get it. Um, and it screws right on just like the, just like the cartridges do, right? Let me spin this motherfucker on there. Then you can plug this shit into your USB ports on your computer, your car, whatever. Uh, plug it into your wall, your phone charger. Doesn't take very long to charge. Don't recommend charging it overnight. I actually had an issue where I left it in my computer, and I guess if you charge it, it starts charging, it turns on. So that's one weird quirk. Because I thought I charged it all the way, and I just left it plugged into my keyboard. And I went to bed, and I woke up, and I grabbed it, and it still had a little bit of juice, but it was like, hey man, I'm like 30% battery life, like blue light. It's like, what the fuck? <clears throat> then I, it, it happened to me, kind of again, I was charging it, and I pulled it off, and went to go turn it on, press it five times, and I pressed the button, and it lit up immediately, I was like, is this motherfucker on? But, to the important part, um... meaty hits tastes great i had a cartridge the first one i was gonna do this review uh like a week ago <laughs> but i got a cartridge that was bum i don't know if there's something wrong with the wick it tasted like <clears throat> rubber cheese and tomatoes is like the closest thing i can describe the taste to I'm pretty sure it was burning a little bit um so i wanted to hold off until I could confirm that it was a bum cartridge. So I wanted to pick up another cartridge and make sure that this shit worked. So it does. This shit tastes great. This is some grapefruit kush. Uh, it's phenomenal. It tastes so good. And it's not like um, artificial grapefruit flavor. It's it's like a it's like the grapefruit grapefruity flavored strain so it doesn't really taste like grapefruit but you can taste the grapefruitiness if that makes sense it's fucking delicious it gets me baked um it's a little bit more cost effective than than the packs 
and don't have parts flopping out of it like the packs. Um, no app, no Bluetooth connectivity. Would highly recommend it. It's now my go-to. I don't use the packs anymore. Um, like I said, I don't even. I'm not even really sure where it is now. It's somewhere around here. I don't. You know, fuck it. Good shit. Next, um, next up on the menu <laughs> is gonna.